This experiment is about redox titration of hydrogen peroxide by potassium permanganate. So the titrant is potassium permanganate with a concentration of 0.06 molar and the analyte is hydrogen peroxide. As you can see, the potassium permanganate, which has a dark purple color, is used as a titrant and therefore it's filled in the burette. The hydrogen peroxide solution, which is colorless, is in the Erlen miner. From the color of the solution, you can see that the potassium permanganate changing color right away after hitting the solution. The titration should be stopped immediately after that the color of the hydrogen peroxide solution turned to pink. We have the permanganate, MnO4- minus, plus hydrogen peroxide in acidic medium is going to give us the manganese plus oxygen gas. If we split the reaction into two half reactions, Permanganate MnO4 minus will give Mn2 plus. Now to balance oxygen, we will need to add four water molecules. Then to balance hydrogen, we will need to add 8H plus. To balance the charges, we will need to add five electrons. The second half reaction is the, hydro the hydrogen peroxide that's going to give an oxygen, oxygen gas. To balance hydrogen, we need to add two protons. And to balance electrons, we need to add two electrons. Now we will multiply the half reactions of hydrogen peroxide by 5, the half reaction of MnO4- by 2, to cancel out the number of electrons used. The result will be 2MnO4- plus 5H2O2 plus 6H plus will give us 2MnO2 plus plus 5O2 plus 8 H2O. Now that we have balanced the reaction, we need to look at the molar ratio between the permanganate and the hydrogen peroxide, and it's found to be 2 to 5. Based on the stoichiometry, we can write 1 over 2 number of mole of MnO4 minus is equal to 1 over 5 number of mole of H2O2. Now instead of number of mole, I can use molarity times volume for MnO4 minus and in a similar way for H2O2. Molarity of MnO4 minus, I know it, it's 0 0.06 molar. The volume of MnO4- minus is determined by titration. That's the volume I can read on the burette. The concentration of H2O2, this is what I'm looking for. This is the volume that I have chosen at the beginning of the reaction. From molarity and volume, I can get the number of mole, and from number of mole, I can get the mass of hydrogen peroxide using the molar mass of hydrogen peroxide. Now, once I have the mass of hydrogen peroxide, I can determine the mass percent of hydrogen peroxide solution. It's equal to mass of hydrogen peroxide divided by the mass of the solution times 100%. To determine the mass of the solution, I can use the volume of hydrogen peroxide that I have used, and since it's mainly water, I will consider that the density is equal to 1 gram per milliliter.